In this question we're told a sheep farmer wishes to construct a rectangular enclosure for his animals. He decides to use a straight wall as one side of the enclosure and fencing for the other three sides. The area of the enclosure is to be 800 metres squared. The length of the sides of the rectangular enclosure are x metres and y metres as shown in a diagram. And the total length of the fencing is l metres. Show that l equals x plus 1600 over x. So looking at this question, L represents the perimeter, so we know perimeter uh, is equal to L. Now if I was to calculate L, it would be Y plus X plus Y, so I'd get X plus 2Y. So that's somewhat close to what we have in this expression here. Now the problem is I've got this 2Y. I don't want to have y in this expression for the perimeter. I want to have it all in terms of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this additional information that the area of the enclosure is 800 meters to link x and y together and replace this y. So what I know is that the area is equal to length times width. Area I'm told is 800 and the length is x and the width is y. So now I can rearrange if I divide both sides by x to get that y equals 800 over x. So now instead of having y in my expression for the perimeter, I can replace that with 800 over x. So I get that L is x plus 2 lots of 800 over x. It's important that you show this substitution to make sure that your argument is convincing. So when I expand this out, I get a uh, L equals x plus 1600 over x as required. Okay. Part B says find the minimum value of L, showing that the value that you have found is a minimum value. Okay, so I know that L, as we've seen before, is x plus 1600 over x. I'm looking to find the minimum of this function, so I'm going to need to differentiate. Before I differentiate that, I'm going to need to rewrite the reciprocal in index form. So I'm going to rewrite this as L equals X plus 1600 to the X to the minus 1. Now if I differentiate this, I get DL by DX is equal to 1. And then multiply by the minus 1, so I get minus 1600 times x and decrease the power 1 to the minus 2. And if it helps, because we need to do some calculations with this, rewrite it as dl by dx equals 1 plus, uh, sorry, it should be 1 minus 1600 over x squared. Okay, now to find the minimum or maximums of this equation, what I need to do is I need to set the gradient dx, dl by dx equal to 0. So this gives me 0 is equal to 1 minus 1600 over x squared. I'm going to add that 1600 over x squared to both sides of the equation. So I get 1600 over x squared is equal to 1. Then going to times by x squared so that we get x squared is equal to 1600. And if I take a square root, remember it's positive or negative square root, what we're going to get is x is equal to plus or minus 40. Now obviously I've got two solutions here, I'm looking for a only one solution. As we're talking as a real world problem here, and x is a length in the fence, x can't positive possibly be a negative length, so in fact x equals 40. Okay, so all that's left to do at this point is a couple of things I want to show, the, find the value of L and I want to show that it's a minimum value. Uh, first of all, let's find the value of L then. So L is then equal to 40 plus 1600 over 40. So 1600 divided by 40 is going to be 40, so I'll get L is 40 plus 40, so L equals 80 metres. 
I want to show that this is a minimum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the second derivative to do this. I'm going to differentiate dl by dx uh, to get the second derivative. So I'm going to get d2l by dx. Differentiate 1, it disappears. Now I'll differentiate the second term. So I'm going to multiply minus 1600 by minus 2. That gives me plus 3200. And then decrease the power by 1. So I'll get x to the minus 3. Now, if I rewrite this as dl, d2l by dx squared, so let's put the dx squared there, is equal to 3200 over x squared. Okay, so moving on, what I want to do now is I've got x equals 40. I want to find the value of d2l by dx squared which for 3200 over x squared. So substituting that in, I get d2l by dx squared equals 3,200 over 40 squared. Either way, this is going to give me a positive answer. So d2l by dx squared is going to be greater than 0, and therefore at x equals 40, uh, we have a minimum. OK, so let's just go back and see how this question is marked. So first of all, if you've written down both this equation, that L equals x plus 2y, and the second equation, 800 equals xy, you get a method mark. And then assuming that you have got convincing arguments, so convincing for me is if you've showed the substitution of one, showed the rearrangement and substitution into L, you get your answer mark by this line here. Okay, so let's look at part B then. Part B, first of all, there is a standalone mark for differentiating L with respect to X. There is then a method mark for putting DL by D0, DX is equal to zero. There is an answer mark then for getting to the answer that X is equal to 40. There is an answer mark for getting that the length is 80. And then finally, there is a standalone mark for using a correct method. So you can look, examine the gradient either side of the point, or you can use a second derivative test. But as long as you've used a correct method and demonstrated that this is a minimum, you get the final standalone mark. Okay, well, I hope you was able to follow my solution and that you understood how to mark it.